Welcome everyone to a Gibbs Cam 2025 uh, enhancement. Uh, this is the general enhancement selection improvements. Uh, containment and overlap mouse drag. As you can see, this has a dual function window, left to right and right to left. And you can mouse drag preference settings to reverse the window direction. So let's go over that. So first go to File and Preferences. And if you go to the interface here, you can see you have a mouse drag selection limited to right to left or left to right. Uh, because some CAD uh, software uh, will choose different uh, entities that you select going from left to right or right to left. So for those that are used to, uh, say, SOLIDWORKS or another CAD program where things might be a little different and you need to get used to using it in Gibbs versus your uh, CAD software, you can change this from left to right or right to left to match what you're used to using. So I'll just leave the default right to left. So what this does is, of course, we always hold the shift key down to select, but if you select and go from left to right, we'll include this little ball here, you can see it uh, grabs everything not only within that window but where it crosses over that window including the ball and you can see this line and this line to the end and this line and this line to the end. Now if you go from right to left it only contain it only highlights what is inside that box there as you can see with just the circle the points and the arc there you would have to go clear over here to get the uh, Ball. Let me do that again. Okay, it needs to contain the whole ball, not just part of it, because if I do just part of it, you can see it doesn't select it. But if I do just the whole ball, even, even though I overlap the other ball, it's only going to select this ball here. So you have your choice there, left to right. And you also have uh, filters. Filters are under Edit. And uh, if you go to the filters, you can uh, choose what you want it to filter. So let's choose here. So let's just go uh, left to right. Okay, we got everything selected there. And it tells you everything that's selected there. Now, if you don't want the solids, you can uncheck that and click on do it. You can see you're not selecting any solids. So you can choose what you want there. So over here, you have a selection filter. So I can, let's just go from left to right. Let's click on all first. Go select left to right. Okay, we have everything selected there. Now maybe you don't want any solids in there. You could have a number of solids or just one or two like I have here. So if you want, you can uncheck the solids. Click on do it. And now I don't have the solids selected. So you can do whatever you want here. Delete, move, copy, paste, whatever you like to do. Same with the rest of these. If I don't want the text included in that, I can click do it and the text is not in there. So, but when you start over, Again, you probably want to click on all unless you don't want these selected whenever you do that. Then you can just leave them unselected. Otherwise, you can click on all and then it'll grab everything in there. Just like that. And if you don't want lines, you can see it deselects the lines or circles. Unselects the circles. And you have a few other choices here as well. Another example. We'll do the filters again. We'll go all, make sure everything's there. We'll just select everything there. So I'll just window everything in there. And then I can choose what I want here. If I do uh, points, I can decide whether I want free points, which would be like these or connectors or terminators. So, or let's just say I don't want any points. I just want uh, all the circles. You could unselect everything there, maybe circles. All of them radius or just by radius or diameter range so you can choose what you want there no dimensions text and click on do it and you can see all I have selected is the radiuses there and you can decide what you want on the by if you want to do by radius and you can give it a radius you can uh, alt click if you'd like so and say do it just all those so it would just select all the half inch radiuses there so you have a number of selections there and filters on what you want to do. Uh, you can also do invert, so it'll uh, do just the opposite, but we need to probably should select all first. And let's do that again. So let's just say um, points. And let's just uncheck connectors. Click on do it. And if you don't like that, you could always click on invert. It'll go back to the 
that it was. So since the first part of this video was a little uh, short, we decided to add another general enhancement video to this one. And this one's called Toolpath Redraw. Toolpath Redraw options are in Preferences. It's under File, Preferences, Interface. And we can set how the behavior is for the tabs and the tiles. You can see this is up here, this is the tab. And the tab is not the tile. This is the tile, this is the tab. So the tab, single click behavior, you can do nothing, which is kind of the default and what it was previously in uh, previous versions, 2024 and, and uh, older. You can select the tile, select tile and redraw, which is probably what I like to do. But uh, there's also, uh, this is of course tab, sorry. This is tile behavior. So this is the tile, the big one. Tab is the little short one there. So the tile, single bit click behavior you can select tile and redraw uh, but depending on what you want to do if you have a uh, like a large 3d tool path you may not want to have it redraw the whole tool path if you just want to look at the tile and maybe make some changes to it or move it whatever uh, so you have that choice there so it's under uh, preferences let's go to there so let me go to file and preferences and we'll do nothing of the default there. So in the past, if I want to see a toolpath, if I click on it here, you have to either zoom up or zoom down or go over to here and click on redraw. So this has been the behavior all along. So if I click on, uh, say, the second operation, you can see you might get confused. Oh, there's the toolpath, which is not until you zoom up, zoom down. Same with all these here. Threading, you have to zoom up, zoom down. So you don't have to do that anymore if you change your preferences. So let's go back to preferences here. Let's choose an empty slot there so everything disappears. Let's go to preferences. And let's do a tab, select tile, and redraw the toolpath. So now this is the tile, of course, or the tab. Not the tile. If I click on the tile, nothing happens. If I click on the tab, you'll see there's the toolpath there. So I can click on all that. You can see the different toolpaths there. So if you had a uh, process over here, you wanted to change it, uh, you don't have to uh, uh, double click it over there, uh, depending on what, what you have in your preferences. But this is just for the toolpath. So if you wanted to see the toolpath, just click on the tab. Now, if you want to change it, go to preferences, and let's do nothing there, but let's do the tile instead. So let's do select tile and redraw. So now I need to select the, uh, uh, not the tab, but the tile. So if I click on three there, you can see nothing happens. Nothing happens with any of them. But if I click on the tile, you can see there's the toolpath. Toolpath again. So this makes it much easier when selecting stuff. A little less confusion there, where before you had to select something, then always have to redraw it. Now you can choose a preference on how you want that to work. And that's a really nice improvement for everything there. Okay, no more having to zoom up or zoom down. And you can choose whether you want to do the tab or the tile on how you want it to behave. So again, that's under File, Preferences, Tab, Single Behavior, Tile, Single Behavior, what you want it to do. So that's a very nice improvement there. So thank you for watching.